Hey there guys, it's Dr. George here and I've just been sent a question through the Down and Dirty website about the use of amyl nitrate and it becoming less and less effective over time. Um, first things first is that I've got to be very honest and I'm not an advocate of the use of, of amyl nitrate. Um, it's a chemical that, that's not well, um, as in the chemical that comes in the bottles, it's not actually FDA approved. It, that's why they sell it as leather cleaner. That's why they sell it as video head cleaner is because they can't legally sell it as something that people sniff. However, I understand that people use it. The way that nitric, uh, sorry, that, that amyl nitrate works is it's called a nitric oxide donor. So what it basically does is it create, helps create nitric oxide. And what that does is it makes the blood vessels in the legs particularly dilate or open up. So the blood rushes away from the brain down into the legs. What this does is it gives you that rushing sort of sensation and it also leads to a bit of muscle relaxation, which is why some people will use it for initiating anal sex because it helps uh, the anal sphincter open up a bit. Um, so with frequent use and when I say frequent, I mean people who are, are snorting throughout sex quite frequently. The, the main side effects are that you can get a really thumping headache, and that particularly is, is a very yucky side effect. Um, and yes, there is a chance that, um, that your body will become accustomed to that, that the, the substrates or the, 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 the materials that are required to create the nitric oxide could potentially get used up with a lot of with a lot of uh, huffs of the amyl nitrate. Um, so yeah, I suppose that there will come a point where it becomes less and less effective. That's annoying for sex, but what it's really really annoying for is that amyl nitrate is a treatment for chest pain when somebody has has got decreased blood flow to the heart. It actually has a medical use, people. Um, so if you're becoming resistant to the standard amyl that you would buy online or through various shops, that also means that you could potentially be developing resistance to it as a medical treatment, and that's concerning and worrying. Um, so, dude, what I would probably recommend is give it a break. You just, you will be able to have anal sex enjoyably without amyl. And what I would recommend is the key is relaxation. The opening of the anal sphincter is actually a reflex that the inner anal sphincter will open up when very gently stretched. Um, and that can be done with a finger, it can be done with a toy, and it became, can be done with very gentle, slow penetration. So my recommendation is that if you're finding that amyl's not working anymore, stop exposing yourself to the chemical because it's, it, ultimately it's not good for you. It's not tested for what it's to be used for inside the body. Um, so I'd probably lay off it for a while. It's a shame that you enjoy it and it's no longer working. But if it's not working, don't use it. There's no point. Um, and the other thing is that just keep in the back of your mind that somewhere along the line, you may actually need amyl nitrate to save your life. So it's important that you avoid it. Um, so that's the main points. But the other thing is that if you're finding that the sex is painful or the sex is difficult to be penetrated without it, then you probably need to think, take things a lot slower, use a lot, lube, a lot more lube and be relaxed. That's what's going to make a really big, big difference. It may not have been the answer that you're asking for, but this is the answer you're going to get from a doctor, unfortunately. So I hope that that was actually helpful. I appreciate the questions. And if you have more questions, please be sure to contact the guys at Down and Dirty. And, you know, I'm one of the many contributors towards this website, and I hope it was helpful.